Hey guys, okay, I'm coming to y'all with a different type of video this time. This is another addition I wanted to add to my channel. So with that being said, welcome to my first Budget With Me video. Since it's almost April, I thought that we can go ahead and knock out my April budget. And while we at it, go ahead and do my paycheck to paycheck budget if we have time. So let me go ahead and set this up real quick. I decided to use these colors because I feel like April and it's springtime, so I went with purple, pink, and, and blue. So let me go ahead and set this up. And this is how I set my budget up every month, you guys. I do a budget column, I do an actual column, and I do a plus and minus. So this is gonna be paycheck number one, paycheck number two, and then I'm gonna do the total. So I'm a, I am have my bills, budget, actual, plus or minus. Okay, so my bills, I have my mortgage. I have my JA, which is pretty much my electricity, water, and my sewer. I have my car insurance. My Netflix. My ADT. I put my savings in my bills section as well. And I have to pay back the homie. So I'm putting Dan as one of my bills total. Now I also have a cash section, cash envelope. So I take out cash every month as well, more so for my allowance, but I normally call that my entertainment fund. I'm just gonna put entertain. Then I have a pets category. And that's all I have for now. I'm just going to take this all the way across because I'm going to put my debt section too. And I forgot to put my total. Alright, my debts. So I have Amazon, Slate, my car, my Star Card. My go rewards. And put my total. So I have a total of five debts that's accounted for on my monthly budget. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. Dang it, wrong pen. Oh well. Alright. 
total and total. All right. So this is this is my setup. This is my monthly budget. Every month I do a setup like this. So some of you guys may have figured out by now by looking at my other videos that I am military and I'm currently deployed overseas. So with that being said, my budget is literally half of what it would normally be if I was at home because I cut a lot of stuff off or I suspended a lot of things. So everything is just is much smaller. Like my cash envelope section will be I'll probably have like eight more different things listed here, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm a budget for for my first paycheck in April. I actually already know the um the amount I'm getting because the LESs came out. So leave an earnings statement, that's what the military gets. So that already came out, so I already know how much I'm gonna be getting paid. Um so my first paycheck is going to be $23.35.74. Cent. And once I receive it, like once it's actually in my account, then I come back and fill in my actual. So I don't know what my paycheck number two is going to be yet. Um, since I am deployed, I do have some entitlements that I'm able to receive. So I don't know if I'm going to receive those entitlements um, within this paycheck or if it's going to be later in May. So as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and, and estimate I'm about the same amount as paycheck number one. Uh, I'm just going to break it even to $23.35. I, I know for a fact that's going to change. So let's go ahead and, and add that up. 2335.74 plus 2335 equals all right 467074 all right so my mortgage is 16.05.45. My JA. So right now I have everything cut in my house. So my JA bill is, I'm budgeting $55 for that. Uh, I do have one breaker on in my home, and which I'm pretty sure is where that energy is pulling from. Um, and then the sewer, which I think is crazy. I have to pay for sewer. My car insurance is one thirteen ninety six. My Netflix is eight sixty four. I kept my Netflix because I do enjoy watching Netflix. Matter of fact, I didn't even have cable since I started budgeting, which I officially started budgeting June of last year, and I haven't had cable since. And I just only watch Netflix at home or Sling TV. I like Sling TV as well. ADT. 57 my savings put $50 in there and then I owe him $122 for mailing my packages $122 so let's go ahead and calculate this $16,545 plus $55 $113.96 plus $864 Plus 57, plus 50, plus 122. All right, so that's total 2,012.5 cent. All right, so my entertainment. So normally I give myself like 200 or 250, um, but since I'm paying Dan back, I'm taking that out of my entertainment fund. So with that, so the 200, right, that I would normally give myself, minus 122. So I will be giving myself $78. Cause I just rather take that out of my entertainment fund instead of deducting it from my actual budget. It just works out better, better like that to me. 
and my pets forty dollars because right now my mother's keeping them and um this will give me enough to buy them some dog food all right so calculate that plus 40. all right so this is 118. all right so now on to my debts so amazon i normally just put a hundred dollars on amazon and sorry guys i had to move i didn't realize my um my tablet was out of was out of i didn't realize my tablet wasn't centered so i had to move it over some my car so at the moment and i'm going to explain this to you guys later uh, when i do my debt payoff plan so at the moment I'm not, I am 11 months ahead in my car note. So the money I would normally put on my car, I'm just going to add it to another debt. And uh, I'll, like I said, I will explain that later. Um, my star card is 165. And right now, these are just the minimum payments. Um, my goal awards is $201. So with that being said, the remainder amount, so let's. Let's calculate it real quick. So 46, 70, 74 minus 2, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 5 minus 118 minus 100 minus 165 minus 201 equals so this amount if you guys can see that is what I would be throwing on my slate card so I should have just kept that up there but 274 69 plus 100 plus 165 plus 201 all right so totals 25 40 69 y'all I'm putting two thousand five hundred forty dollars dollars and 69 cent onto my debt so let me do one more check, one more check. So I'm going to add all the totals, all my totals should equal up to my monthly total income budget. So 2540, 69 plus 118 from here for my cash, plus 2012.05 from all my bills equals 4670.74. So perfect. Uh, my goal every month is to, ha is to have a zero-based budget, which is everything total equals zero. So, theoretically, at the end of the month, I should have zero in my account. I mean, it doesn't necessarily happen that way, but uh, it, it's always close. So, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much my monthly budget, you guys. This is how I do it every month. Um, all these bills come out electronically. For the most part um and i usually go to the atm and take these out but i probably would just keep those in my account because of the pet food i order online um and the 78 dollars i'm probably not even going to spend at all so yeah that's pretty much it so so yeah that's pretty much it this is my april monthly budget so real quick, I want to go ahead and set up for my paycheck to paycheck budget. What I'm going to do is just do paycheck number one because, like I said, I don't know exactly what paycheck number two is going to be. So we'll just hold off on that. So let me just set up paycheck number one and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I just went ahead and filled out both sides because I'm going to need to do that anyways. Um, as you can see, I do break my bill. My bills are for the most part, uh, even between my first paycheck, and my second paycheck, I definitely split my mortgage up. Um, just, it just helps me balance everything out. So, so let's get started here. 
So, like in my monthly, so I said I was going to get 23, 35, 74. So, my mortgage, uh, I normally break that up and do $803. Every paycheck, although it doesn't, it, it actually um, comes out to be like 1606 even instead of 1605.45, but whatever. My Netflix, I said my Netflix is, I budget 864. My savings, 50. So I forgot to put Dan here in my bill. So what I'm going to do is just add it back to my cash. And I, w I would just know that, you know, I owe him, obviously. So my cash will end up being $240. Um, so my debts, doing 100 My Amazon, nothing on my car. Star card, 165 Go Awards, 201 all right, so let me see where I'm at, how much I have left. So, so 803 plus 864 plus 50. All right, so 86164 plus 240. Plus 100 plus 165 plus 201 equals 9574. So this is how much I have left over. So that's 76810. All right. Let me add this up now. Make make sure my calculations are good. So that's 12, 34, 10. Hmm. One, two, three, four. That's too funny. Plus 240 plus 861, 64 equals. 223.35.74. So there you have it, you guys. So simple. Like I, I do this every month, so it's just actually easy. It's, it's a thing for me, and I actually enjoy it. Um, and I know where all my money is going. I know where every dollar is going because I budget for it. So this is budget number my monthly budget, which I actually have on this side, and then my paycheck number one budget and then as I actually get paid or actually when all these things are getting paid off then I come in and I fill in the actual which I'll come back at the end of the month and we'll do a budget brief and I'll go over uh, how everything worked out you know the debt-free community and the budgeting community is huge and I'm here for it like, my mission, in case y'all didn't know, one of my goals this year is to become debt-free. And so, that's the plan. Become debt-free this year. In my next budgeting video, I will be doing my budget payoff plan. So, you guys can actually see why it is that I pay so much on, you know, a certain particular card or whatever the case may be. I want to break this down so that we can pay this debt off, y'all, like... No kidding. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy my first budget with me. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I'm posting new videos. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.